When The Undertaker was ready to lose his first match at WrestleMania, he let his real-life friend, Brock Lesnar, put him over. And also, back when Brock Lesnar was fighting for the UFC, The Undertaker was seen at almost all of Brock's fights, supporting his friend. Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch is another duo of rivals that you would never expect to be friends off camera. Becky and Alexa are very good personal friends and actually ride in the same car together on the road for WWE. On a 2016 episode of Talking Smack, Dean Ambrose revealed that he is actually great friends with the Usos. The three have actually been seen out in public together drinking, along with Chris Jericho, who is also good friends with the Usos. When Enzo Amore suffered a concussion at Payback 2016, he was taken to the hospital where he was visited by Kevin Owens. Most people didn't know that Kevin Owens and Enzo Amore are actually good friends in real life after spending time together in NXT. Former rivals John Cena and Randy Orton's friendship started in WWE's former developmental company OVW. The two became fast friends, and their friendship continued over the years, which made their matches more interesting because when you saw them wrestle, you weren't seeing two rivals destroying each other, but instead you saw two friends playing a game of can you top this. Goldberg and Steve Austin have always been compared to each other, ever since Goldberg's WCW debut. Many people have even called Goldberg a ripoff of Steve Austin. But in real life, there is absolutely no bad blood between the two, and they are good friends. They even sometimes party and drink beer together. Dolph Ziggler and The Miz were bitter rivals in late 2016, but in real life, they are actually best friends. Dolph and The Miz are both from the Cleveland, Ohio area, and they also have a love of Cleveland sports teams, and have actually been spotted many times at Browns and Cavaliers games. They were even featured on an episode of Ride Along. Ryback may no longer be with the WWE, but his friendship with Daniel Bryan still goes on to this day. When fans find out that Ryback and Daniel Bryan are best friends, their reaction is usually complete shock. Bryan and Ryback have even appeared on Table for Three, where they discussed their unlikely friendship. Paige's WWE career began in the WWE developmental companies FCW and later NXT. When Paige came to America at the age of 18, she immediately started a friendship with Summer Rae. Their friendship continued when Paige and Summer Rae made their way up to the main roster. One of the reasons why The Undertaker is yet to retire is because he's very good friends with the boss of the WWE, Vince McMahon. When The Undertaker got a concussion during his first WrestleMania loss against Brock Lesnar, Vince McMahon actually went to the hospital with The Undertaker just to make sure he was okay. 